people are just simply sitting down on the curb and reflecting on this verdict that was delivered earlier in the day. Uh, there are also people there shouting out illegitimate, illegitimate in reference to the verdict. There's particular anger at these six senior Ministry of Interior officials who were all acquitted. Um, and four of them had been accused of complicity in the murder of the hundreds of protesters last year. This, uh, people felt, was a sign that really the Ministry of Interior has failed to carry out the necessary reforms. People were very aware that there have been problems for the prosecution getting evidence together against some of the defendants in this case. All of that said, there was also a real sense of depression, I have to say, about the current political situation. Uh, the verdict has really overlapped with that. It's come at a time as Egyptians are preparing to go to the final round of presidential elections. And for many of Egypt's young revolutionaries, people who were prepared to give up their lives or saw their family members and friends give up their lives or get injured in last year's protests, they really feel that no revolutionary candidate has got through to the final round of elections. It's left them with a choice between a Muslim Brotherhood candidate and a man who was a close ally of the ousted president of Hosni Mubarak, Ahmed Shafiq. And many of them really came out as well to just express their disgust at this situation too.